us again ho <laughs> oh, the puff puff bass daddies <laughs> hi welcome hi we are going camping on the allegheny river and i am very very excited so in this video you're gonna see us myself and uncle canada Two days, all day Saturday fishing, camping, sleeping, all day Sunday fishing, camping. Taking the boat out for the first time this season, uh, a little later than normal because fly fishing is kind of cut into the boat time, but also because the weather has been terrible. Haven't had her out since last November or late October. So back to our native lands, bacon wrapped filet mignon for dinner tonight, steaks on the island. Cocks on Steak Island, Steaks on Cock Island, Cock Steaks, Steaks, Cocks, Steaks on Cocks, Ox, Cocks Isle, Ox on, Oxen. Also something I think I've mentioned before, pointed out, but wanted to again. Um, I don't know if it's just because we swear or because we used to drink a ton and smoke a lot of weed and stuff like that, but we're shadow banned for sure on Instagram and on YouTube. Uh, it's kind of sad. We have about 5,000 subs on here and we're, you know, getting 100 to 200 views per video after like two weeks of it being uploaded, which is kind of sad. So if you're seeing this, please say you're seeing this or comment. I'm not trying to drive up interactions here, but I just want like a good sense of if you're actually seeing this, even just on this video, just let me know that you've seen it. Um, same thing on Instagram. We have at one time we had like 60 some thousand followers. Now we have like 55,000 and change, all real, all algorithm, doubt, whatever you want to call it. Um, getting maybe a hundred likes on a photo, getting like 200 and 300 views on a story. Um, super sad and obnoxious. I did scroll through Instagram and YouTube last night and looked at some legacy accounts that I followed forever. Um, and I'm not gonna name drop because it's not talking down on any of these bigger accounts fishing accounts but they're kind of like in the same boat and i don't understand why i don't know if people just kind of fell off the fishing game <clears throat> or just kind of not interested anymore but if you're seeing this let us know fishing cracker barrel cracker barrel mm. al gratin i was just talking about uh how we're shadow banned yeah it's sad yeah, it's up the ups and downs of youtubes i mean Mm, gears, Wanigans, bags. The roll. The roll. You got eggs, bacon. I got marinating steaks. Oof. It's going to be beautiful. Yeah, I think we're ready to roll. Yeah. Crack. Yeah, to crack a barrel. Mm. Mm. The tracker. The Pro 170. I was about to do a review actually because last month was the three year anniversary. So this is the fourth season on the Pro 170. I was just watching um Very smelly. You got some marinade, literally. It's sealed. Yeah. Just smelly. Mm -hmm. Do you prefer smells or sights and sounds? All of the above. Mmm, senses. That guy honked at you. He did. Why? He was going really fast to the sheets and mm. wanted to go faster. Richard did forget that I should have caught that. The weekend before we were at East Sandy, weren't we? That's cool. It's perfect amount of ramp. Nice. It's flowing. Yeah, it's not that stained though. No, we're stained. gonna be okay. All right, well, we're loaded down. Gear. We got. Yeah. All right, let's uh, make moves.
Welcome back to the Allegheny. First boat trip of the year, first river trip of the year. Let's go. To Cock Island we go. Puff Puff, Daddy Bassie, Allegheny Sway. Shall we? Yeah. All right. Back at a uh, good old cock island. Here we are. Here we are. VIP parking. This is like the opposite of Ticketmaster. You don't pay any fees. Good old cock island. Oh, here she is. Cock is here. And simple access. Very beautiful. Here's the namesake of the Cox, the headless Coxman. Tent sites everywhere. All right, well, we're all set up. Got your vestibule here, AKA the front porch which is nice because whether you got wet stuff or just don't want to bring your shoes in or leave your book bag out and your extra tent stakes, you got room to dry stuff out here. You can always extend your ground cloth out to cover this. I just don't like to because the dry to the wet to the dry to the wet. Got our roll in here, extra ground cloth, and we're all set. Are those legs telescopic? Um, they just kind of like fold in and like... You can like break them down and. Mm. Mm, got steaks and Whoa. beers and beef and cheese is buried down there. Yeah. Would you like one of these? Yes, mm, aggressively hopped. Mm. Made in Cleveland. Mm. One for the land, one for the sea, one for me, one for me. In honor of a uh, Gordon Lightfoot, I yeah. suppose. For sure. Cheers. Mm. It's very uh, effervescent and approachable. Yeah, very, very approachable. Very <laughs> approachable. Shout out to Wabs. Mm. Uh, step two. Yep, step two. In honor of Steve as well and Tony. Shout out to Steve. We just chilled for like almost an hour and a half. I don't care. Great. Yeah. So here we are. The, Check out the setting. The boat is right there. Tents are right here and. Uh, there we have our nice beer. No responsibilities, just have to go fishing. Cock Island. Right. Fish of the year first. Well, first, uh, first Allegheny, Allegheny fish of the year. First cool. Allegheny smallmouth. Right What's there. his name? Um, he's going to be... I have to insert myself and say he has to be named Gordon Lightfoot. R.I.P. He yeah, has to be, I'm sorry. Gordon Lightfoot, R.I.P. I'll let you name one of mine later, but you have to name him Gordon too. Look at that color, eh? Yeah, beautiful. Nice little average size. Beautiful fish. Chup Wonder Wonderwall. Very oh, welcome. Very approachable. Mm, very approachable. So we're going to let him go, obviously. But Gordon Lightfoot, good to see you. RIP. He's got the urge for going. What an entry. Mm, how do you feel about that? Really good. Ooh, slippery. Makes me feel good. Didgeridoo da. Good shit. Good signs. Mm. Been out here about an hour and a half. Water's a little stained, a little high, but fishable. Very fishable. It's pleasurable. I wouldn't say it's approachable, but it's fishable. It's got effervescence. That's more like it. We're more like it, so. One fish, not bad. Got one fish on the board, deep down. Deep down. Which so, means they're not, they're not exactly tight to the banks, which gives us hope. Very much. Five o'clock, lost a fish. Canada caught a fish. Steaks for dinner, warm out. 
nice weather, nice float, river, nothing else. Do you want to tell them the plan? It's time for meat and cheese. Ooh. Ooh. That's all. Lost land. Wherever Frodo went, this, we're going to where Frodo went at the end of Return of the King. There's a lot more bugs out over here. Return of the King. You know who the new king is? Who? Is Theliodor's heir. Oh. You know who that is? No. Ari. Ari. The little table. Mrs. Puff Puff's been telling me to buy one of those tables. Look at that. I wish I could smell the waft when you open it. How does this work, eh? Sarah, go ahead. Welcome to the jungle. You did the work. I feel like Buzz from Home Alone, when he comes home and it says, Kevin, what did you do to my room? But in this case, Kevin cleaned my room and organized my trunk of stuff. You know, like there's more firecrackers and more Playboys. What if you use some twine, some of your uh, uh, parachute cord? Don't you don't think you could supplement it? That's that's a buster. It's a bust move. Those are the closest trees in sight. Yeah. Worth a try. Uh, what about if you, uh, yeah, there's Protect. one. Could you try it around this stump? No, I'll be way too low to the ground. What if you put that side way higher so, like, your head's high and your feet are low? I don't know. Uh, there's always a solution. Always an anor tech. Anor tech. Relaxing is just as fun as fishing when, because when we're out here only to fish, we don't have time to relax because we want to fish. But when we're out here to relax and camp, you have time to relax and camp and fish. What a great idea. We have a fish on board. It's a nice one. Oh my God, yeah it is. A little bigger than mine. Skunk broken. Yes, all day. Nice fish. All day, he's a nice That's one. It. That is a nice one. Yes. Good shit, skunk broken. Skunk broken in the power hour. Wow. Real lucky, we gonna fold this again? Yeah. Yeah, he's not nice fish. Bad, yeah. Small mouth. Yes. All right. Thank God. That yeah. was a lot of trying today. Yeah. A couple beers. A couple beers. Mm -hmm. His name's going to be uh, Gordon Lightfoot again. Precious moments. So uh, we want to run this again. Yeah. Gordon, thank you. Hardly know her. Definitely. Yes. All right. Skunk broken. Yeah. Power hour. Thank you, Gordon. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> not a bad one. Huh? Number two. Number two. Looking similar. Very similar. Got the makings to be big one day. His name's gonna be Gordon Lightfoot. I like him. Keep the trend going. Wow. So keep lines in the water. Sure. Gordon Lightfoot. Gordon Lightfoot. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Uh, Precious moments. We're out there for about six hours, give or take. Canada got one early on. Neither of us got nothing for like five hours. Then I caught those two in the last forty minutes. It was like three floats: one, then nothing, then one. So. Three fish, still early season. It's only the 5th of May, 6th of May. So now it's a uh, steak time, movie time. Second beer time. Sorry, I'm peeing. Let's take a look at these bad boys. Oh. <clears throat> oh. Bacon. Definitely talked about steaks on a plane, but now we actually have them. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. That's what you call filet mignon on an island. Hey. I mean, you can have your steaks there and then go fish there and then go take a dump over there yep. and then go sleep over there yep. and have a beer right there and then cook breakfast right there. Yep. If your name was Toby Flenderson, you would be in the Finer Things Club. I mean, if you're going to come out here, you might as well do it live and right. It's happening currently. Did those smell plum day? Too bad. And I get to sleep next to the wonderful scape. Thanks to this log. <laughs> <laughs> the sound. 
Mm. That sound? While serving, too. You have very good manners. Mm -hmm. Not that I mind. Mm -hmm. Does that meal tickle your satisfaction? I'm being tickled currently. Mm. I already tickled myself. Dinner is done. Dishes are done. Camp is put in place. I don't know what the hell that is. Arabian Nights or something? Sounds like it. Knights of Arabia? His name's Dalton. What's wrong with that wedding? Furniture, kids, and what the diamond ring cost? Come on, man, you've been married. Please. We didn't even finish that movie. It was terrible. Now it's time to go to sleep so we can wake up and go fishing. Fairly well. I'm tired. Geese. Sorry for the lack of footage to end the night and start the day, but we're getting rained on that we weren't supposed to. So we batten down the hatches very quick. Hatches are batten. Yeah, we're uh, coffeeing. Not even gonna breakfast so we can maximize fishing. Those geese were uh, great companions. They're not very accommodating. They're not, no. Ugh. Coffee is done. Had a nice relaxing morning, but we're pressured now by rain. That wasn't supposed to be here till like six or seven. Now it's coming at like one. And you got a little taste. A little taste. But uh, here comes the sun. Woke up and it was raining. So we kind of got like sandwiched. So now it's time to go fish for a bit, and then we're gonna have to make a daring escape, I feel. Yeah, we'll be all right though. Yeah, it'll be fine, we, we got a couple hours. We're prepared. Mm, yeah, everything's done. That's why it's nice to be like Steve Wallace and just get stuff that you need and you use, but you don't have too much. I like Steve. Everyone likes Steve. I invited Steve uh, on his website to come to PA with us. I told him all the step twos are uh, I included. I wonder where he's at. He's on the West Coast. I think he's in Alberta, I want to say. So, West, West Coast. But, yeah. So, Steve, if you see this, he did watch the train video. No shit. Uh, yeah, he commented on it. That's awesome. Yeah, so, Steve, if you, and I didn't solicit it to him either. He just saw it because he's a big Stobe fan, RIP. RIP. So, Steve, if you see this, come hang out on this island with us, right. please. <laughs> Walk down the secret stair. All right, well, we're not fishing because just like when I was here fucking solo, just like when I was here solo, the same motor problem that I had fixed twice happening again. So motor won't start. Batteries are dead. And uh, here we are. So how do you feel? Um, you can lie if you want or just be honest. I feel disappointed. Very. Yeah, very. Almost can't get their shit together. Right cannot shout out to the techs that told me this was good to go and it's i don't even know what to say i want to use swear words so here we are floating down i don't know so last time this happened i was alone and killed the crank battery trying to get this going fortunately i hooked it up to the mincota battery was able to get that going and send it back down with no regard, but it's not working today. There's something wrong with the wiring, which they said was fixed. It'd be my third trip up there for the same GD issue. And uh, so now we're floating all the way down. Gonna have to put it on the trailer without the motor. Gonna have to, uh, I don't know. It'll like start off as a really good and pleasant video with like steaks and like yeah. good things. And then now it's the wee morning hours and we're yeah. sitting here. You can even see the skies have turned gloomy. All right, it's Gordon Lightfoot, yeah. RIP. Uh. All right, somehow he just said try putting them back on and blah, 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 now it's starting. So clearly there's an issue. Okay, let's just, we're going. We're going home. Send it. Thank you. This is absurd. 
So we made it back to the ramp in 10 minutes. Like we should have. Oh, we would have fished. We floated for like 25, 30 minutes. Just kept our wits. Just telling stupid dad jokes and screwing around. He's like, why don't you just go ahead and try it? The motor terminals, the crank terminals were not connected because I had swapped them from the crank to the Minn Kota, then put the Minn Kota battery back on so we could Minn Kota down river. So I just put them back on. So I just reattached the crank cables to the crank battery, turned the key and it turns right on. After 20 minutes of trying, then a half hour floating, then all of a sudden it wants to work. Thank God that's a blessing. Saved us at least, bare minimum, a three hour float. After already floating for a half hour, so. He's pulling the truck down now. You've seen it all. I'll give a rundown when we get back to the house, but we're getting out of here. Thank you, God, and Gordon, and Tony, and... I'm going back to the mechanic tomorrow, and they're not gonna be happy, and neither am I. No idea. <sighs> Crazy. So we made it home safely, meeting chicken nuggets on my back porch. I'm just very frustrated and fed up because last year I put a hole in the boat, which had to be welded and repaired. And that was a lengthy process, but that was my fault. It's repaired, watertight, and everything's great. I'm happy with that. That was expensive, very expensive. Um, but this electrical problem is now affected and effectively ruined five different fishing days. I just didn't know it at the first two times, or I didn't know that that was the issue the first two times. We were out at Presque Isle, and all of a sudden, halfway through the day, we're going to motor across the bay, and the motor won't start. And I'm sitting there knowing I put a five gallon in the tank. It's an 11 gallon tank. There was at least a quarter tank left. We had barely used the motor, we were trolling all day. And my only logical conclusion was that it's out of gas. Knew it wasn't. Got home on the trailer, gas gauge is working fine. Go up to Pennsylvania. The video that you saw posted last fall, go look at it, whatever boat broken down, stranded on the river. Same exact island, same exact situation. Get up there, starts fine at the ramp get up to camp, Cock Island, set up my tent, blah, 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 go watch the video. And then when I go to actually fish, motor won't start. 10 clicks, motor won't start, it'll start. Turn it off, won't start. Killed my batteries, wasted the day. Go watch that video. Take it into Cabela's Tracker Boat Center. I have to, because I have a five year warranty on everything, which is nice. I bought it during boat season, the boat show season. So instead of the standard two-year warranty I got a five-year warranty so an extra three years and I didn't go in there because of that incentive I just got lucky they don't even offer that anymore now it's just two across the board um, but I have to take it any kind of service or parts install a new code a new screen all that I have to take it to a tracker authorized boat dealer because of the warranty anything else would void the warranty and I'm screwed for the next two and a half years um, so be wary of who you take your boat to. Be wary of who you trust with your stuff. This is an authorized tracker boat center. The close, next closest one to me is two hours south in Columbus or up near the Toledo, Michigan border, another almost two hours. And I'm kind of pickled in by the warranty. I don't want to spend the money I don't have to. I spent money and got a warranty. I'm frustrated. Frustrated, very frustrated, so... Whenever you see this video at some point this year, just uh, know it was not for a lack of trying and maintenance. I'm fed up. We'll see what happens. Puff Daddy is frustrated. See you soon.